Yo, it's Pop and Auto Cons. It's your team leader, the Random Gamer, here with another toy review of Jurassic World Dominion, Hot Wheels, Character Cars, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor Beta, and uh, Giganotosaurus. So, I am really excited that I got these. Um, I, you, that car, the T-Rex one was in the last Jurassic, uh, Jurassic World character cars. I just didn't get it, so I was really excited to get that. And then I got Beta and, and the Giga. So, let's get into the review. So, first of all, let's look at, I don't know, let's do Beta. Let's do, no, let's do the Rex first. So, here's the Rex. You see a beautiful picture of the Rex. Hello, Re Hello Rexy. Uh, the, you got the Dominion logo, it says Tyrannosaurus Rex. You got the Hot Wheel car and the packaging. It's supposed to be like a semi truck. Um, and on the back, it tells you your. Uh, it tells you the other ones you can get. You can get the T Rex, have it. The uh, Giga, have it. Velociraptor Blue, as you know, I have it. And Beta, I got it. And um, Triceratops and Stego, I. Not sure if I want to get those, but I might. I don't know. Um, this is each sold separately, obviously, because they wouldn't just sell it in one unless you found the um, the thing that Walmart did, where they have all six of them together that you can buy at the same time. Um, but if you buy them in like the single, as the singles, you have to uh, buy each sold separately. Oh, in the background, this is really cool how they have the T Rex sign in the background. That's really awesome. I think that's all. Awesome. I think that's awesome. They got the in the background. You have the rest of the Rex and everything else. Um, and then warning: small parts may be generated. So in other words, do not eat anything in this bo box. It can be very, very bad for you. And that's it for the packaging for Hot Wheel Car T Rex. Now let's do Beta. So here's Beta in Jurassic World. Um. So this part. So. Um, if you haven't seen Dominion, which, if you haven't, I don't know, I don't know if you you must be living under a rock because it's awesome. Um, they review, they show that. Spoiler alert! Um, if you want to, spoiler alert! Um, that this is obviously Blue's baby, and um, the so this is the car they did. They just made Beta, they just made Beta's character car to car a little go-kart sort of thing. Um, Velociraptor Beta, the Dominion logo, all those character cars, four out of six, and um, then you got your, the other ones you could get, um, each sold separately, and warning, do not eat anything in this box, it can be very, very bad for you. And then how those character cars again, Empower, empowering the next generation through play, Mattel, um, and yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, the opening of this did not go well. <laughs> I had to rip off that piece, but I did a better job with the T-Rex and the Giga when I opened them up. Speaking of the Giga, here we have the big baddie of Dominion, the Giga. Um, the animatronics actually nicknamed the Joker. Uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, and, um, so you have here, you got the Dominion logo again, Giganotosaurus, and each one of these packages has the T-Rex sign. It didn't show that, that part in the Jurassic World, uh, Dominion Velociraptor Blue one. But you got the car in the packaging, you got the rest of the Giga in the background, it says Mattel down in the corner. Three and up, which I just ignore that. And um, you got the um, transform Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, how we car it shows all the different ones again. Uh, warning: small parts may be generated, so do not eat anything in this box. It can be very, very bad for you. That is very important. And uh, each sold separately, uh, not for kids three and under. So. Do not get these for your kids if they're three and under. And then, uh, made by Mattel, there's a barcode, character cars, Universal, 
and other stuff. 2021 Mattel, da 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 da. So yeah, now let's get all these guys out of their packages. And there you have the three Hot Wheel cars out of their packaging. So let's go in the reverse order of looking at them close up one by one. So looking at the lovely detail of these Hot Wheel cars, you got the beautiful a beautiful representation of Oh, let me try, there we go. Of this, of the Giga here. You got the scars on the Giga there. There's the eye. There's the horns of the Giga. And you got, oh, looks like they put some, they did put some teeth in there, in there, some design in there. And it's got the pattern of the Giga. You got the spikes that the Giga is known for. And it looks like that is the exhaust right there yes that's supposed to be the exhaust so you got the exhaust there actually yeah you got the exhaust there and there's the bottom that says tm uni and amblin jw dominion giga a uh, giga hot wheel car 2020 mattel yeah um and you got the front oh they got oh they have some more teeth there cool that's very cool. That's very mean looking. Honestly, if I could have this as a real vehicle, I would totally, I would totally cruise around in this. I don't know how the hell, you, I don't know how the heck you'd get into it, but you know what? I'd totally cruise around in this thing because this is just, this is just awesome. In the back, you don't know much to it. That got bent because of how I took it out, so yours might get bent that way too. Unless you don't care about the packaging and just rip off the plastic piece. Um, but yeah, that is the Giga. Now, we'll get the, we'll get Beta. This is Beta here. They didn't do anything to make their, or toe claw different because Beta has one toe claw that's broken. Uh, Civil claw that's broken, but it's like it's just a little go kart. That's all it is. You know, with the blue or the blue that represents the blue stripe on it, and um, you got the Jurassic Park, the Jurassic logo, more of the um, that gray and that scaly type skin. There's the claws. Um, very simple design, but perfect representation of a baby Velociraptor. And then. Finally, we have the T-Rex, which I think is so cool. At least this one, you can actually see where the door would be on it. The door on this vehicle would be right there. And it would probably open at that line right there. But, you know, they made the, the lights, the, the headlights, like the nostrils, they got the teeth, the gunmetal gray, and it's like the teeth design of the Rex there. You got big... You know, all-terrain tires. You know it's a track. You know it's a tractor trailer when it has that kind of tow hitch on it, and those uh, pipes at um, I don't know what they're called, but the every big rig has has the stop uh, stacks, smoke stacks. That's what they're called. Um, like this is the paint job is very simple. It's just the T-Rex brown for the skin and the very light tan to represent like the underbelly and a little bit of the side um, but very very nice design there I love it um, and there's the top there it's really cool I like it and then we'll go to the back and then we'll go to the bottom so it says Jurassic World 2 T-Rex. So this car is the exact model from the Jurassic World 2 Hot Wheels car line. And that's why I didn't get a Velociraptor Blue of this Hot Wheel line. And speaking of, it's time for the comparisons, which we will get the we will get these boxes out of the way. 
let me do, and I'll be right back and we'll do comparisons. And now for comparison, I only have two things to work with, and that is the Jurassic World 2 Hot Wheel car, um, which is of Velociraptor Blue, so we'll compare with Beta so you can see what they look like together. It's perfect because the go kart was a perfect pit, fit uh, pick because it makes it smaller and it has the makes it look smaller and it has that smoke uh, that um, uh, spoiler design there. And blue is like the race car, and then you got the go kart, which can you also race with, which goes fast like Velociraptors do, which I think was really cool. Um, then to compare with the T-Rex, you have, oh, so it's a little bit bigger because it's a semi-truck, which would make sense. Um, it's a nice little, it's a nice comparison. It's, I think it's pretty good for the, being a representation of T-Rex and it's a little taller. I like that. And then for the Giga, again, it's bigger than the, than blue, the Velociraptor. Velociraptor one because it's just that's just how uh, um, that's just because Velociraptor is, is uh, smaller than the Giga and the Giga is a little bit bigger than that um, race car there so now I have a, compar a comparison to use for the I'm gonna just have these set up like this for the Giga which is the actual Giga minifigure I recently got. So to see the com to see the likeness, other than the coloration is a little bit different. You can see that they're very much. Oh god, they're very much um, alike. As you can see, we'll push these off to the off to the back there. Like so look at these. Oh god. On. Yeah, but you can see they look a lot alike. They got the head. It's it's perfect. I love it. It was off. they did a really good job with that. Um, and the Hot Wheel car isn't that big either, so it should just it, it just shows how big that is. So yeah, um, now to the closing and the summary of what I think of these Hot Wheel cars. So in summary, what I think of these. Hot Wheel cars is I absolutely love them. They are awesome. I adore them. They're amazing. I really can't say enough about them. If you love Hot Wheel cars and you love Jura and you love the Jurassic World, did you love the Jurassic World Dominion movie or Jurassic World in general? I would suggest get these Hot Wheel cars. Um, and if you liked Blue, you know you could get that car as well. It's just the same car, it's the same exact car, so if you get it from that toy line, that's that's great. Um, but these are really cool, and I love them. And there's really no... The one thing I would say is I wish they might, they, I wish they kind of made that a little bit more stir, uh, sturdier, but still flexible, but not sturdy enough where it's easy to break on the spikes on it. These spikes are fine, but the one in the back, that one got bent a little bit when I went to try and take it out without ruining the packaging. Um, and the Rex, it's just perfect. It's a very well done representation. If you were to do a, a vehicle for the Tyrannosaurus Rex in, Jurassic, in the Jurassic franchise, I think the representation of a semi-truck is awesome. That That's perfect. So, yeah. That is the end of my review, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope this helped you uh, decide on your buying needs, uh, your buying needs of if you want this toy or not. Uh, these these Hot Wheel cars. I found these at my local Kinney's, and I bought them, and I bought them from there. But I'm but uh, Walmart has all six in one box that I noticed so I didn't get that because I didn't want all six I just wanted um, the three of them and maybe later on if it's still there at my, at my local Kinney's in New York because I'm in Vermont right now um, I'm at my dad's right now but um, 
maybe if they still have the stego or the tri or the triceratops one i'll take a look i'll take a look at them and decide and see if i want them or not if i do i'll let you know if i don't well you probably will not have there will probably not be another video about dress world dominion hot wheel cars so from me so um yeah um i hope you enjoyed and um I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you decide if you want the want want these Hot Wheel cars. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, destroy the like button, and demolish that post notification button to, so you can get a notification on every single video I upload. Talk to you in the next one, guys. Peace out. Thank you for watching.